out of England, God created women for men's pleasure. Schools across England have received letters opposing the teaching of relationships and sex education and LGBT equality. Mainly Muslim families have been protesting outside Anderson Park Primary School in Birmingham after pupils were given books featuring transgender children and gay families. A protester said God created women for men's pleasure in this video. Uh, should I play the video or no? Just It's just, just a random preacher in the street saying like, oh God, uh, what I was saying... I watched the video. It was, he was saying that um, we're not going to accept your values. We don't accept LGBT. This is what you're promoting. It's one man, one woman. God created woman, four men. That was part of his a bigger thing that he was saying, right? So it wasn't just like randomly just saying, "Oh, God created woman for man." He was saying, saying it's 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 not. It's kind of like it's not one man, two men, or two women. It's one man and one woman. And then he added, "God created woman for men." And it's actually very interesting to me that this gets a lot of outrage because that's in the Quran. Okay. Why is like the fact that this gets like so much people are like, Oh wow, this Muslim is saying God created a woman for men. How horrible. Then why don't we get the same reaction for the fucking Quran? It's in there. It's this. Okay. Let me actually read. Like why, why is it that when this random Muslim says in the street, everyone is like, what a horrible man. But when the, when we have actual verses that is there that one a book that is endorsed by 1.8 billion Muslims around the world with the verses that is way more horrible than what this guy is saying, it like it's printed everywhere and everybody supports it and people even non-Muslims say, "What's oh, a beautiful book? It's a beautiful tradition. We need to support it." Okay, let's see what the Quran verses say. <laughs> Quran Surah Baqarah two uh, Surah two Ayah. Uh, two twenty three. Okay, so sorry, Surah. So chapter English for chapter chapter two, verse two twenty three. This is what it says. Uh, should I read the Sahih International or Pictal? Pictal is more accurate, but Sahih International is more understandable. I go with the more accurate one. Uh, Pictal is saying your women are tilth for you, like a field to cultivate. So go to your tilth as ye will, and send your good deeds before. Uh, you for your souls and fear Allah and know that ye will one day meet him Give glad tidings to believers. Um, I read the Sahih international version as well for people That don't like picked all saying your wives are a place of sowing of seed for you So come to your place of cultivation however you wish and put forth righteousness for yourselves and fear Allah uh, and know that you will meet him and give good tidings to the believers. So this is basically saying this, you know, your woman is for you to do whatever you want with them. And this is basically what this guy is saying. So this guy is not saying anything that is on Islam. There are other verses as well that shows that God created woman as a gift for men. Um, in fact, this whole story of Adam and Eve is that Eve was created because Adam was lonely. Um, actually, the full story was because Lilith was not very obedient, but that's never made it in never got canonized but anyways and that but that's not even the that's what this guy was said which is supported by the quran but there are worse verses in the quran we have uh, we have another verse that doesn't get as much attention as it deserves because mo the most anti-woman verse in the quran that gets attention is the wife beating one and i know why that gets more attention because it's more relevant to today's world because people still beat their wives People don't go around and capture women in war and have them as sex slaves. So this other verse that supports that doesn't get much attention because it doesn't resonate with today's world. But but this is the most barbaric anti-woman verse in the Quran, which uh, compared to the wife beating one doesn't get much attention, is this one. This Quran, uh, chapter 4, uh, verse uh, 24, so Surah 4, Ayah 24. Um, I read the Sahih International translation. It says, "And also prohibit, prohibited to you are all married women, except those your right hand possesses." Right. The rest goes on about you know how God 
you know makes what he wants lawful to you and what he doesn't want to make forbidden to you he makes it forbidden to you and he knows best and all that yada 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 but the main part is that god is before this verse if you read it in context is telling you the things that you is is pro prohibited to you and the things that are allowed to you and it's saying mar married women are prohibited to you which you think like well obviously except and you're like except there are married women that I can sleep with? Yes, there, there's, here's an exception. The, the women that you capture in war as slaves that your right hand possesses, even if they're married, she's your property now. You can have sex with her. And this is a Quranic verse. Read any one, any tafsir you want about this. This is what this verse means. And people, and th this doesn't cause outrage. You could go, you know, buy these Qurans and, they, and I, I, you know, some guy that I'm not going to name, don't mention it, but his name, his book, because YouTube, YouTube and Facebook don't like it. His book is removed from Amazon, but the book, this book, the Quran that has all of this doesn't get nearly as much outrage as this guy, this random Muslim saying this in the street. Like, why? Why does it not get, why does this book not get the same level of outrage? Can you explain this to me, Ali? I can't. Well, I can because it gets the religion, it gets the, it gets the legitimacy and the authority by having 1.8 billion followers worldwide. And this is what the peaceful or moderate or liberal or nominal Muslims or whatever you want to call them do. Even if they don't follow this book, they're giving legitimacy to a book that should never, should never be taken seriously. A book that should be fought against, a book that should be spoken against, a book that should be attacked, dismissed, insulted, mocked, and it would have been if it was not branded as a religion, does not get this attention, does not get the same level of outrage because of all those other Muslims that don't follow Islam but call themselves Muslims. Um... Let me see what Subham is saying. Subham is saying Sahih International is known for changing some verses slightly to make them sound nicer. Yeah, that's why I always have multiple translations ready for people. By the way, I, okay, so Subham, I read the, the Sahih International is supposed to be the nicer translation and that one is saying that you could fuck women if you capture them in war. So that's the nicer version. Uh, Chris is saying, I love watching the live videos. The passion Armin has for this is inspiring. Oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, Wolf is saying men were created for women uh, pleasure. They like they like the D as much as we like the V. Okay, all right. Um, thank you for that, Wolf. Um, let me see what else. I'm going to use the five-year verse. No, okay, never mind. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Larry is saying, say that to my daughter, and I'm proud to say you would not have much manhood left to pleasure. I am so proud of her. She would eat you alive, and she looks so much like a princess. It is unexpected. Okay, Larry, I, I'm, I appreciate that you love your daughter. I want to protect her, but I don't endorse you suggesting violence against anybody, no matter how vile so, what sometimes says is. Uh, I don't think vigilante justice or mob mentality or, you know, violence against them is the answer. Uh, Mike is, but I also understand that, um, you know, when you're a parent, you may become passionate and say things, but that doesn't mean that what you're saying is a good idea. Uh, Mike is saying, man created God, pre it. Um, yeah, we know. We're atheists here. Tina is saying, I say, let's bring back human sacrifice. No, what the hell? This is a top comment. Okay, what the Tina is saying? I say let's bring, let's bring back human sacrifice. We can start with these men. I'm so tired of hearing this shit. If you love your God so much, please go and be with Him. Earth is crowded anyway. Jesus Christ, Tina. No, like human sacrifice is one reason why we don't like religion. So please don't endorse violence against anybody. Unless yes. it's self-defense and self-defense, not preempt, not preemptively, and not collective punishment. Self-defense. The only way is violence is justified is self-defense while violence is happening against you. Okay, 
Otherwise, just call the cops. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.